readers, my name is Soraya and I'm here with my friend Lolo and we're going to read a book today. The book we're going to read is called El Perro con Sombrero, a bilingual doggy tale. Now bilingual means that it's in two languages. So today's story is going to be in English and in Spanish. So we can use the hint of the picture on the front to kind of figure out what El Perro con Sombrero means. Perro is the Spanish word for dog and sombrero is the Spanish word for hat. And as you can see, Lolu has picked her favorite hat to wear today. It's a beach hat because one of Lolu's favorite things is going to the beach and jumping in the water. But since we're inside, I'm gonna go ahead and take the hat off. El Perro con Sombrero, written by Derek Taylor Kent, illustrated by Jed Henry. Perro and we see it's a picture of a dog. So that lets us know that the word perro means dog. Sombrero, and we have a picture of a hat. So we know that sombrero means hat. El perro con sombrero. Pepe was a very sad dog. He had no home and no family to love him. Pepe era un perro muy triste. No tenía ni hogar ni familia que lo quisiera. One day, Pepe was begging for food on the street when a sombrero flew off a balcony and landed right on his head. Un día, Pepe estaba pidiendo comida en la calle cuando un sombrero salió volando de un balcón y le cayó en la cabeza. He looked so handsome in the sombrero a grocer gave Pepe a juicy bone. Yum! Se vea tan guapo con el sombrero que un bodejuero le dio un hueso delicioso. Que rico! Then a movie director drove by in an expensive car. He shouted, Cool! A perro en a sombrero! You must be in my movies. Un director de cine pasó por allí en un carro lujoso y gritó, Genial! Un perro con sombrero! Tienes que aparecer en mis películas. Pepe became the star of many great films. Pepe se volvió estrella de cine. He played a cowboy dog. Hizo el papel de un perro vaquero. He played a romantic singer. Hizo el papel de un cantante de boleros. In a comedy, he even ate a habanero pepper. En una comedia, hasta se comió un chile habanero. He made a lot of money. Hizo mucho dinero. But he was still sad because he didn't have a family. Pero aún estaba triste porque no tenía familia. Lying in his dog mansion, Pepe had no one to pet him and hug him. Only his adoring fans gave him comfort. Acostada en su mansión, Pepe no tenía a nadie que lo abrazara. Solo sus admiradores le brindaban consuelo. You can see he's got lots of letters. So he's got lots of people who care about him. Yeah, you see the letters, Lulu? But look how sad Pepe is. But someone did not like Pepe. El gato en zapato. Pero había alguien que no quería a Pepe, el gato con zapatos. Gato, and we can see this picture right here, is a picture of a cat, and zapatos. And this picture lets us know what zapatos means, which is the Spanish word for shoes. El gato con zapatos. El gato en zapatos. <laughs> so this is my cat, Moonshine, and these are not her shoes. El Gato en Zapatos was the biggest star in the world before El Perro en Sombrero came along. He was a very jealous kitty cat. I should be the number one star. That dog would be nothing without that silly sombrero. El Gato con Zapatos era la estrella de cine más grande del mundo antes de que llegara El Perro con Sombrero. Era un gatito muy celoso. Yo debería ser la estrella más grande. Ese perro no sería nada sin ese tonto sombrero. The next day, 
El Gato and Zapatos snuck into Pepe's dressing room and stole his sombrero. Al día siguiente, El Gato con Zapatos se metió en el caminer, ca, camerino de Pepe y le robó el sombrero. Whew. That cat looks very sure of herself. When Pepe arrived, everyone asked, where is your sombrero? Cuando Pepe llegó a trabajar, todos le preguntaban, ¿Dónde está tu sombrero? Then Pepe saw El Gato. El Gato en Zapatos was escaping through the back window. Pepe vio al Gato. El Gato con Zapatos se estaba escapando por la ventana trasera. Pepe took off after him. Run, Pepe, run! Pepe salió corriendo tras él. Corre, Pepe, corre! Hmm. What do you guys think is going to happen if a dog chases a cat? <gasps> Pepe chased the sneaky kitty through the busy streets. Pepe corrió tras el gatito bandido por las calles bulliscosas. Por los mercados. Oh, sorry, guys. I made a mistake. Through the markets. Por los mercados. Through the cinema. Por los cines. Through weddings. Por las bodas, through parades, por las desfiles. They are getting into quite a mess. Soon Pepe cornered El Gato in a playground sandbox. Give me back my sombrero, Pepe barked. Pronto Pepe se encontró con El Gato en la caja de arena de, de un parque. Devuélveme mi sombrero, ladró Pepe. But then a little girl spoke. Look, papa, a lost dog. Pero justo entonces una niña habló. Mira, papa, un perro perdido. Pepe turned and saw a whole family. Pepe se volteó y vio a toda una familia. Mother, father, daughter, son, mamá. Papa, hija, hijo. Can we keep him? asked the daughter. Nos podemos quedar con él? preguntó la hija. He can come with us only if he wants to, said Papa. Solo si él quiere venir con nosotros, dijo su papá. Pepe looked at el gato en zapatos, then he looked at the family. Pepe miró al gato con zapatos y luego hacia la, fam la familia. Pepe miró al gato con zapatos y luego hacia a la familia. Hmm, what's he gonna choose? Keep the sombrero, said Pepe to el gato. Then he jumped into the arms of the small girl. Quédate con el sombrero, le dijo Pepe al gato. Después saltó hacia los brazos de la niña. The family took Pepe home. They pet him and hugged him all day, and they snuggled with him at night. La familia se llevó a Pepe a casa. Lo acariciaron y lo abrazaron todo el día, y se acurrucaron con él por la noche. What happened to El Gato? ¿Qué pasó con El Gato? Hmm, I see some sneaky ears right there, so I wonder what happened with El Gato. There he is looking longingly through the window. Allí está, mirando con angelo por la ventana. So the family adopted him too. Now they were a big, happy family. Pues la familia decidió adoptarlo también. Ahora es una familia grande y feliz. Pero, zapatos, el perro con zapatos. Gato, sombrero, el gato con sombrero. And Pepe was the happiest dog in the whole world. Y Pepe fue el perro más feliz del mundo. And here we have our family picture and everyone's got shoes and hats. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed reading El Perro con Sombrero with me. I hope some of you guys even learned some new words. I know I did. And I just want to remind you, please keep reading.